Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to Manavutsav. And this session, of course, is a advanced session of Wally Arts that we are doing. Um, hopefully, you have managed to watch the previous um, Wally Arts session that we have done uh, last week. If you haven't, we have still we are still going to kind of do a little bit of a recap today. But before I go into and go into those details, um, I'd like to bring in um, Jayant Ray, who is the founder of Sangit Foundation, and he is working on the research on creative arts and how you can use uh, we can use creative arts for um, resilience building within the community. A very warm welcome, Jayant. Thank you, Dr. Lahiri. Thank you, Indrani. Um, hello, all. Thanks for joining in um, today. Um, so, as uh, Indrani said, you know, I started this journey with Sangeet Foundation about uh, mental health, creating awareness about mental health and creative arts, uh, and the uh, and the research is about creating community resilience using creative arts on digital platform. So, as part of Manavutsav, what we have been doing is uh, we have been the principal partner for mental health and music over the past couple of years. Um, uh, but this is a different journey altogether. So what we did do, and this is part of my research, I would request your uh, feedback onto this. This will help me with my journey. Uh, and uh, so at the end of this, there will be a form which you can fill up um, and uh, there will be vouchers as well to be given out uh, uh, for this research uh, project. Um, so uh, please join me uh, and for today, we do have uh, Dr. Um, Anjana Sena, who's a mathematical physicist uh, from, uh, and she, she's been a, a researcher from Kolkata in ISI, in uh, Kolkata University and so on. So uh, a fabulous person. And, and on top of that, she's an artist. So she's been doing sessions on mandala art, as well as on uh, uh, this uh, worldly art as well and uh, and that the kind of work she's done over the past uh, couple of years is, is amazing and especially during the lockdown you should have seen her the kind of work that she's done using discarded material as well and made them into you know most uh, prized possessions so uh, hats off to you uh, Anjana so and handing this over to you without ado so we do have so please do visit the session uh, from last week. Uh, I've been sharing the YouTube channel for that and given your feedback, uh, do fill up the feedback form. That would be fabulous. But now it is to the next session of Walia. Over to you, Anjana. Thank you. Thank you, Jantu, and thank you, Indrani. <coughs> so uh, last week I did the basic some basics on worldly art, how to draw the basic shapes. So today we'll be doing the advanced session. Uh, as a brief recap, just to recall what we did, where does this worldly come from? What it is? All this we did in detail in the last session. Uh, well, the word worldly, this comes from the word varla, which means a piece of land or plot. So these varli people, this tribe, they were basically farmers. Cultivation was their main occupation, cultivation of rice. And the region they lived and still live is in Maharashtra, near Mumbai. Now, in the next slide, please. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> no exact date is known about when this art form originated. Some say that it is about a thousand years old. Another school says this is about 5,000 years old. Whatever, this is a very ancient art form. Now, India is a rich country with a very, very old history where people have lived since prehistoric times and each tribe had their own art forms. But the 
beauty of worldly art is that it is done in a single color it is monochromatic no colors are used here it is just done in white with rice paste on the marked walls of their houses can we go to the next slide please So uh, <coughs> now the an, another important point to note here is that uh, the drawings, the paintings are very peculiar. They are drawn using the geometric shape of a circle and a triangle joined by lines, either by straight lines or by curved lines so we can draw a circle or a semicircle a triangle in different forms like isosceles equilateral whatever but only a triangle and circle these are used to depict any form be it humans be it birds animals, trees, huts, their activities, everything. So, for example, <coughs> the main theme about the worldly paintings is that these people, they had a definite language, a spoken language, which is a cross between Gujarati, Marathi and Sanskrit, but they don't have any written script. So as if they tell their life story through these paintings. So what is the theme of the paintings? Their day-to-day -day activities, farming, hunting, and so on, harvesting, and also the deities they used to worship. Uh, next slide, please. Now, in the last session, we learned how to draw these figures with the help of some videos. Uh, I'm not going to repeat the videos today. But I'll just show the slides to see how humans, birds, animals, etc. are drawn in worldly painting. Is the video, uh, is, are the slides running? I can't see anything here. Previous slide, humans. previous yeah human figures how are human figures drawn in worldly paintings they are drawn with the help of a circle for the head then two triangles joined at the tip the upper triangle represents the torso and the lower triangle represents the pelvis and the limbs are drawn with the help of lines they can be straight lines, they can be curved lines. Now, if you look at the drawing here, the extreme left figure on the top shows a man and next to him is a woman. Now, how do we differentiate a man from a woman in worldly paintings? See, basically the drawing is the same. The only difference is that the woman has a bun on her head and she might be using flowers to decorate her bun or some hair pins and she is wearing bangles on her wrists and trinkets in her feet so this is bangles and trinkets are also additional accessories the only difference between a man and a woman is the bun it is must if there is no bun then it is a man. If there is a bun, it is a woman. Then a woman may be wearing a scarf on her head. See the next figure. 
she is wearing a scarf on her head it's just to make the figure look more beautiful then old people are shown with the help of a hump a bent back how do you do that just draw a semi circle on top of the triangle and the back seems to be bent that a man and a boy if they are drawn side by side the size of the boy will be shorter than the man for a girl child she has two ponytails this is how they differentiate a boy from a girl in the next slide we can see how different activities are shown in worldly painting see ah uh, there is a baby here a baby crawling on the ground so you can uh, <clears throat> in the next uh, in the second row there's a baby in the first row the dress of the woman shows some uh some uh, border designs or oh, did we miss the border slide anyway we can come back to it after the slide so you can make some designing on the dress to make it look more beautiful then see it looks it seems as if a woman is dancing then a working woman is carrying a load on her head in the third row we can see a woman carrying a load on her head and a pot on is balanced at her waist with another hand then two men are dancing see they are holding their hands and dancing so there is no perception of depth no expression in the face leave expression there are no eyes ears nose nothing but still you can make out this dancing uh, couple the the two men who are dancing they must be happy isn't it so so uh, let's get back to slide so that we can see the borders i think we missed that in worldly painting a border is very important here yeah, right so the borders are always drawn with the help of only triangle and circle or semi circle whatever like if you look at the first one it's just uh, some triangles one after the other beside that there are semi circles and the innermost semi circle is filled up so it makes this border look more bold and beautiful then there can be circles then straight line dots only triangles in different forms so in this way a border is very important in worldly paintings uh, they first what they do is they uh, draw a triangle or rectangular now uh, they mark out a rectangular place or a uh, square place they draw the border and then they draw the draw painting inside basically these people live in mud houses made of bamboo and mud and all that and thatched roof so whenever there is some festivity for example a wedding in the family or a, a crop is being harvested then that is the time for enjoyment for making fun and enjoying themselves then they decorate the mud walls of their houses with these paintings elaborate paintings but remember only with these three things circle triangle and line nothing else so we were seeing how to draw this is how to draw borders then we were seeing how to draw human beings yeah now see how the musicians are drawn the worldly people enjoy uh, dancing and singing 
So you can see various types of instruments here. These are all traditional worldly instruments. Uh, pipe, flute-like thing. The, the one in the center, that is known as the tadpa, which is the most important instrument of the worldlies. If somebody plays the tarpa, then that calls for celebration. People come out of their huts, they form a circle uh, around the person playing the tarpa and they start dancing and singing. Then there are different types of drums which they play either with their hands or with sticks. But see, you can draw everything using only circle, triangle and lines. So next, let's see how to draw some birds. A circle for the head, a semicircle for the body. The feet are drawn with lines and the tail can be either an assembly of four or five or six lines with a dot at the tip or just a small triangle. Then if the bird is flying, you don't see the feet, but the wings are spread out. Such simplistic drawing. So this shows a bird flying. Then the peacock. Peacock plays a very important role in the life of wildlife. And they have developed very simplistic methods of drawing peacocks. Here we are showing two types of peacock. One is just standing. The next one is dancing with its plume all spread out. Yes. So we've seen humans, we've seen birds. Now animals. The animals which are found in traditional wildly paintings are basically the cow, the horse, the elephant, deer, dog, also sometimes goat. The rest of the animals are added later on, like for example, a cat or a monkey, a rat, even panda. These are <coughs> later additions. If you look at the cow, you see a triangle for the head, a small circle for the mouth, two horns, two ears, and the body is represented by two triangles. A semicircle, additional semicircle makes the hum. For a horse, you have to show the mane of the horse, which is very important. So, just the mane makes it look like a horse. Goat is running. Then the elephant. Elephant has a cloth, beautifully drawn cloth hung over its back. In wedding processions, the groom comes on a horseback, rides a horseback or and in hunting they used to go uh, on the back of an elephant and also in wedding processions we see the groom on an elephant in very old traditional worldly paintings. Next please. Then comes trees and huts. So see the on the left, we see small plants. The leaves are shown by triangles. Or you can also draw semi, yes, semicircular leaves also. Just showing the veins. Small plants, shrubs, bushes. And those on the right, the two on the right, coconut trees. <laughs> so... These are also drawn in very simplistic manner. And the huts, as I said, are made of bamboo with thatched roof. And it is on the mud walls of these huts, reddish brown mud. And on this, they used to draw their paintings. 
so this up till now this was the recap of what we did in the last class of course we saw many types of paintings traditionally on mud walls but now this art form has been commercialized it can be drawn on any surface next please from canvas to terracotta paper wood glass ceramic it's endless it can be drawn on any and every surface and it has a very high commercial value also and it has been popularized also from the mud walls of the uh, houses of the wealthy people it has traveled all over the world but as you shift from the reddish brown mud walls to this other medium the white rice paste also is replaced by acrylic paintings and worldly art has now become very colorful next please <coughs> oh so today what we'll do session 1 was the basic forms session 2 is a village scene now we we'll do it on a rectangular a4 sheet of paper you can make it either on a rectangular sheet or on a square sheet or whatever you want to do this rectangle can be framed and made into a wall hanging it can be used as a table mat after lamination it can be done on a serving tray and the important point to note here is that a village scene has many components and later i'll come to this later on also each component can be made into a painting of its own and a complete painting Uh, next please like uh okay i'll come to this like if you want to see a traditional see can you see this this is done on a this is also a village scene which is done on a 30 year old discarded stainless steel tray so this is recycling i would say this is just a traditional worldly painting the see the back side is still you can see it is a steel tray and here after giving it a coat of reddish brown uh, acrylic paint i made it in just white and the border is done in black So this is a village scene where you can see a person, a woman cooking food inside a hut, three women drawing water from the well, a woman carrying a pot of water on her head. Then, in front of the house, you can see two persons weaving baskets, a bullock cart, and so many other things. So now you have a feel of. how to draw these paintings just the ones we saw uh, in the slides so these are made into a complete village scene if you look at it carefully you can identify many things there are three goats two people are cutting wood okay so <laughs> now So now we start today's project. It's a rectangle. No, no, not this. <laughs> yeah, the I have already done drawn the border. Yes, I have already drawn the border. I have left one point five centimeter gap on all four sides so that it can be framed easily. the border is done using only triangles and since i'm drawing on an a4 sheet 
I have taken a border of one centimeter thickness. Now, if you are working on a larger sheet of paper, you can make the border thicker. If you are working on a smaller sheet, you will make it thinner. The width of the border should be compatible with the size of the painting. Now, you, if you look at the uh, painting on the right, in the center, there is this tarpa dance. A person is playing the tarpa in the center and people are dancing around in circles. So I want to draw this tarpa dance on this sheet, but not in the entire sheet. I want to draw it on the top right corner. So I'll make, take circles to see for this I need two concentric circles and the gap between the circles what it is it used for it is used for the body of the human beings except the head and the neck so for an a4 sheet i can make two circles of say two centimeter and 3.5 centimeter radius Another thing is, if you want to draw the tarpa dance on the entire sheet, then instead of a circle, you can use a spiral form. Then it will cover the entire rectangle because a circle will only cover a square. But if you want to complete the entire uh, drawing only with the tarpa dance, then you will make it a spiral. So let's see the video on how to draw this tarpa dance. Let's play the video on the tarpa dance. You can make the border later on because in this short time you won't be able to make the complete the border but you can leave the place for the border and then you can start drawing the tarpa dance along with me so let's play the video on tarpa dance is it not playing then can we move on to the next slide or shall I make it, shall I draw it live? If the Tarpa dance uh, video is not playing, I can make it just to show you live, just a minute. Can you see this? Can you, if you can see this paper? Just a minute. See, what we do is, this is a circle, then a smaller circle, like I said, 2 centimeter and 3.5 centimeter. Then what we do is, we want to draw humans all around this. So, this is the head one on top, one on bottom, two on each side. Then in between these two, you make one head. In between this, you make one head. This is a simple way of drawing a symmetric figure. Just one in between these two, then again one in between these two. Okay? Then this is a small neck, two triangles for the body, one leg like this and this is a dancing one. Now again, next two
uh, triangles for this body one leg like this the other leg like this and one person is holding the waist of the person adjacent to him or her holding the waist of the adjacent person then alternate people you can draw a bun so a woman and a man are standing next to each other and <clears throat> inside we draw the person playing the tarpa this is very small i am showing it to you here this is the head the neck the body he is dancing so the feet are in different positions this is the tarpa and so holding it with both hands so this figure should be in the center can we play the new uh, the next video i don't know whether this was visible to everybody because this technical glitch is something totally unexpected i'm really sorry for it could you see it i don't know it I can't hear you. Really yeah, yourself. it was going. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, it was going really well, and uh, the focus is quite good. The thing is that I think that uh, the tree is actually working, but the other three, although they are downloaded, but they are not working. Maybe it's just taking the internet speed and that kind of thing. Um, what I would can say. Can I see if I can uh, share from this end? Yes. Can I yes, see if please. I can Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be this. good. Yes, please try. Please try. It's fine. I mean, this is how we make the art happen, isn't it, on digital platform? And this is one of the challenges as well. And I think that this research that um, you know we are doing around creative arts and all of this, I have found that so say for example the same thing happens with music. You know when there are delays and things. So it's absolutely fantastic. Like how you picked it up and you actually you you were ready there with the paper, which is one fantastic, really good. <laughs> I don't think I can play it from my end. I don't know. I'll try, but yeah. Uh, if we go into the share, can you see the share button there? Yeah, yeah. I can see the share button, everything, but I don't know. It's not playing. It's playing at my end, but can you see? Oh, you have to do. Um, you have to do share screen. I have. Uh, well. Uh, Yes, I can see it. Um, well, no, I've seen some. Oh, no, someone has joined. Um, now, next to the Tarpa dance, let us draw. Wait, where is StreamYard? Uh, share screen. Yes. Can you see? Draw a heart. Um, not yet, no. So you have to share screen. I have shared screen. Now, Can you see it? Um, I have shared that, screen. Is that in the name of Prabir or? No, 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 no. It's my name. It's in my name. Um, no, it has not come through then. It's not playing. Which videos are playing, Indrani? Uh, the um, the tree is playing, and uh, it's only the tree that's playing, actually. Only the tree, not anyone else. Not I mean, not the others. Share screen. Share screen. I have done. Oh, so the house. Yeah, yeah so I think that, no, um, I think the, to the uh, when it is downloaded, but it is not the same file, uh, like the stream here doesn't support that file, yeah. that's what they're saying. Oh, God, this is really difficult. <laughs> okay, let me see. Then I'll try. Uh, none of the videos are playing, you are saying, right? 
the tree is playing tree is playing okay so, then let me first draw the hut then we can think the about tree. the we can play the play the tree okay. yes okay 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 let me uh, draw the hut can you see this is this is this visible is this visible yes yes so for a hut for the base of the hut please let me know when if you can't see no for the base of the hut we draw a straight line can you see we can no? see it okay and then two vertical lines for the bamboo pole then a semicircle for the thatched roof then we can draw some semicircles like this and just for the structure of the roof with bamboo and then the thatch like this just some a few arcs of a circle then we can show a man who is sitting inside the hut is it visible just sitting inside yes. the hut and he is having his meal you see he is having his meal eating with his hand and this is his plate it has some food in it a woman is sitting next to him woman she is also sitting on the floor and she is serving him meal with a ladle this is her another hand then the food is kept in these pots and she is using her spoon to take out food from the pots and serve to his to her man and then you can use decorations for the hut like this you can make double lines for the bamboo pole then double line for the base okay so now if we play the video on the tree then i think this hut will be visible because after drawing in with pencil i have made the outline with black gel pen so that it is visible to everybody so if we can play the video on the hut uh, uh, sorry on the tree even that is not playing and what do we do this is of a trunk you can draw this straight also two vertical straight lines then these are the leaves a triangle near the end of no 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 indrani sorry here. this is not the, no no this this, this this not this one no no this we did in the first session today's videos are not playing i think okay we leave the video no what we i know, what slide. what i'm trying to do then is that we just wait for um, maybe we can just do the because the other videos somehow the format is not matching so what i can do is uh, i will try and log in from my other device and it's absolutely fine so we take this platform as if we are in a room yeah so what i will try, try to do 
is as you are uh, trying to talk through the borders or something like that, maybe you can try. What I will do is I'll try and log in from another device and see if that picks up. Uh, okay, so, uh, or else you can show the entire, entire uh, painting, the outline only. I'll explain how to draw the figures. The borders? No, the next slide. Okay. The next slide. I'll explain the painting and then if we can play the videos, fine. Else I'll just describe how to draw them. Okay, that's great. Let's do that. Let me just try one thing, just to check one thing, yeah, in between, which is if yes. we share the drive that we have, let me see if it plays straight from the drive. The only thing is that, of course, the drive is shown, but let me just check still. Just the tree, not wildly or anything. This one, yeah. I can see the heart. It is not playing, you say. No. The tree. Yeah, the tree. Yeah. yeah. Now I think you can see the tarpa dance and the hut. It, they are drawn in black gel pen, the outlines. The left of the page, let's draw a tree. We'll draw the basic skeleton, the uh, stem, trunk and all that. The leaves we'll do later on. So this is just a, the basic skeleton of the tree, the branches. You can just draw the leaves later on. You are drawing in pencil so that we can use the eraser and after completing, we'll just make the outline in black gel pen. This is the swing. A person is swinging on the branch of a tree. <clears throat> the legs are bent like this. Holding the both the strings with her hands. Then, this is the uh, muddy road of the village. And on top, we have to fill in the entire space. So let's draw a few birds, a birds flying in the sky. See, the wings are spread out. Then a small dot for the eye. You draw three, four birds to cover up the entire space. So we drew two birds. Then the third bird is drawn flying in a different direction. So once you draw in black, gel pen the outline ah now this is a bird perched on the roof of the hut and here a totally new addition a cat ah, till now till date i have not seen a cat in any uh, traditional wildly painting uh, this i thought maybe we can see so uh, <clears throat> after this, I think there is another video. Musicians, you can play it. Let me, let me, let me, yeah, let me see and play it uh, directly from your drive. Yeah, it looks yes, like yes. It's working from there. Yes. Okay, but Great. the audio is not coming, so I have to talk again. I think. <laughs> oh no, the audio is coming. Okay, audio okay, is coming. Okay, then, then, yeah. okay, fine then, fine. Okay. 
So, do you want me to play the tarpa tarpa dance as well? Let's see if it works. Yeah, of course. It would be Let's nice. Let's do it that way. Yes. 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 The tarpa and yes. the heart uh, both. Okay. Playing the tarpa now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not talking. Let the video play the audio also. I can't hear the audio. You can fast forward it in Rani since I already uh, showed it. Yeah. Yes. So now the dancing people are visible clearly. And then the person playing the tarpa in the middle, in the center. <laughs> so now the Free, uh, the hat, I think I showed. If you want, you can play it as. Let's move on to the musicians. Musicians. Like we drew the muddy road. So some musicians are playing on that muddy road. The person swinging on the branch of the tree that is clearly visible now, I think.
So let's see the slide. <clears throat> the next slide. Our basic aim is to cover up the entire space. So for that, we may draw a few birds, a, maybe a dog, a goat, two kids playing. No, not this one, the outline only. Before this, just the outline. Previous slide, I think two slides previous to that. Previous one? No? Okay, leave it. I'll continue like this. No, 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 no. Next. Yeah. So this is what we did today. Yeah. Now you can see it clearly. There is the Tarpa dance on the top right. Then beside that is the hut with a bird perched on the rooftop and a cat on the right. Then a few birds are flying in the sky. There is a tree below it and a person is swinging. The swing is attached to a branch of the tree. Then some musicians are playing the musical instruments. A woman is dancing. Another is playing the flute. Three men are, two are playing the drum. One is playing the tarpa. Then in front of the hut, there are a few chickens, few hens. They are pecking at grains. And in the bottom right corner, it looks as if it is a field. A cow is sitting and chewing food. There is a pot of food near its mouth. And there is a small plant at the extreme right. Now, how to color this painting? If we are drawing on a dark background, then we'll use white, either gel pen or acrylic paint with a fine brush to make the outline to make the outline <clears throat> like this one i did on a dark background reddish brown background with white only this is traditional now if you use colors not much colors are used here, only red, black, white, and a little bit of golden. But this gives a modern look to this worldly village. Now, since this program is associated with mental well being, so I thought of using colors to complete this painting. So, next slide. Uh, yeah, this I showed you live. <laughs> okay, the next. So here I have used some solid colors to show the uh, dresses, the leaves, the birds and all that. Like in the dance, the women folk are wearing yellow and red dress. The men are wearing blue and purple. Then inside the hut, the man is wearing blue, the woman yellow and red. Now, if you look at the birds flying in the sky, only a little a part of the body is colored blue. The rest is left as such. Now, concentrate on the tree. The thin branches are drawn in just brown, just filled up in solid brown. The leaves are just small triangles in green. Now concentrate on the tree trunk. One 
option was to just make it solid brown. I thought of making it uh, uh, alternately solid brown, then border pattern. Again, solid brown, border pattern. And see, two or three different border patterns are used here. This only gives it a better look, that's all. Then the cow is left as such. The border, the triangles are just filled up in uh, ochre yellow. And the plant on the extreme top, uh, bottom right is just the leaves are shown in circular leaves and veins. That's all. And the hens are there. Now, to draw the dress of the tarpa player and the musicians, instead of just solid colors, we we'll, uh, make some designing. For that, we'll play the final video finishing touches in Rani. Let's play the video finishing touches. Today's very difficult technical problem. Then we leave the video and show the final slide, how we finished up the entire painting. Let's go to the final, uh, final painting, the colored. Yeah, good. So see if you concentrate on the, yeah, this up till this we had done. Now the next one. See, if you look at the uh, musical instruments, the next slide, please. No, no, no. The next one, <laughs> not the previous one. After this, after this. After this. Yeah. See, we have drawn a few border patterns in the musical instruments. We have drawn this with brown gel pen. Then the dress of the men and women dancing, they are, they are not just solid colors, they are drawn in some designs. And the dresses have laces, the dresses of the women have laces. The bun has flowers in it. Then there are tassels and uh, the, the, the grass, they are playing wherever they are playing there is grass all around there's grass below the plant also then above the tarpa dance you can see a bird flying in the sky which was not in the earlier picture this is just to fill up the entire space then see if you concentrate on the tree there's a bird perched on the top it was not present in the earlier one then you can see a child skipping beside the hut the space was looking empty so i decided to include this child skipping then if you i think indrani is playing the video so let's see the video then we can explain the rest later on yeah see See, a person is, okay, first you see the video, watch the video. Just how to fill up these in intricate patterns instead of just filling them in solid colors. Just using colored gel pens. Now, if your drawing is a larger one, if the human beings are pretty large you can use a brush pen instead of a gel pen just a few border designs this 
this is the tarpa the head is always shown in black This is a drum. Then this is a flute. It also has some designs in it. And then again a tarpa. Again some designs. But remember to make the designs using only triangles and dots and lines. The beauty of Wally paintings is just using these simple shapes, we can make intricate designs. She's wearing bangles in her wrists, on her wrists. So these are the designs on her. They are dancing and singing. So they are put on their beautiful costumes. It, they have laces in the costumes. The upper part of the dress is red. The lower part is blue. So the scarf has both red and blue in it. Bangles on her wrists. You can have your own designs for the dresses. These are some lace patterns. This is something quite modern because colors weren't used in original worldly paintings. Two drums, one flute, one tarpa, and another woman just dancing. So this completes the musicians. Now how to complete the rest of the painting the yeah this part is looking quite bare so let's draw a person sitting under the tree and playing the flute Just sitting under the tree and playing a flute. Let's draw a cap on his head. This side, let's draw a person reclining. You just observe the way his body is reclining as if watching the kid on the swing. One hand, uh, the his head resting on one hand. Now, here we can draw some grass, just straight lines, uh, a few curved, a few straight in green directly. Then, is the painting okay or we need to do something more? Yeah, of course, we need to color the dresses of the two additional men we introduced here.
no eyes but still it looks as if the person is keeping a watch on the kid who is swinging the designing on the flute now let's draw a girl skipping here because not much space is available so just again skipping rope is also pretty modern not in traditional paintings little girl so two ponytails so here we can draw another bird perched on the tree top sitting a few lines for the tail more or less it's complete don't you think so or there is scope for some new additions ah uh, let's yeah make some grass here just grass it's looking more colorful isn't it so any anything else you would like to add uh, what else can we do we can draw a yeah of course this is left <clears throat> so what we are doing is drawing a diamond shape and a circle in between and then we'll color the space in between the circle and the diamond so <clears throat> let's see the final product in the next slide yeah the next slide the final outcome what we did today yes now see i have drawn another bird at the top just beside the cat and then below the hen there is a border sort of a thing so this makes the uh, painting more or less complete you can add a sun if you want at the extreme top right but i haven't then there should yeah there you can draw a sun there should be a place to put in your signature <laughs> so i think you can draw your own pattern now i was saying that each part is complete in itself for example you can just make the tarpa dance in a square sheet or you can uh, instead of a circle you can make it a spiral on a rectangular piece of paper the musicians only the musicians can be a complete painting only the hut can be a complete painting or the tree with the person swinging two people under the tree and all that each part can be made into a complete painting i'll show you two examples in the next slide
thought this after this after this after this after this yeah this one see you can make a round coaster on an mtf board or cardboard you can make a circle with a bowl or a compass or anything a very simple border a very simple border and then just one person beating the drum and a woman dancing to its beat so this can be a coaster which you can use at home or you can make a so is it appealing the entire uh, yeah this one you can make a square coaster see it has a border drawn with triangles and straight line and dots then there is a hut now here i have used colored paper so i have drawn the out the entire painting in white instead of oh, black i have done it in white here we see a hut there is a ladder inside the hut and a person is climbing up the ladder is holding on to the horizontal poles and he's climbing up the ladder then there are some pots kept on the top and a woman is sitting on the floor and cooking food so each component can be made into a complete painting i think we come to the end of the slide show uh indrani over to you this is just fantastic have you seen the comments coming in it's been quite uh, lively no, i i just so, happened to... me, yeah so let <laughs> me just kind of like um get it on on the screen again i have played it in between but of course you were doing the drawing thing um and concentrating on the so i mean of course there was something about arti was mentioning that you know um that you you use the paper and they were saying that you know it as good as um, so i'll bring in jantada as well to the stream who is the phd researcher working on this um so thank you very much to arti and then we have got Arthre, who then mentioned that you know there are digital glitches are not unusual, and I was saying that yes, I mean this is this is what actually you know that that proves that we are doing things with a human touch, I believe, because <laughs> our life is not free from glitches anyway. Absolutely. So why would, yeah, why would digital life be free of glitches? So that's Absolutely. the thing. The, the, so, like they say, the good the good thing about technology is that it yeah. sometimes works. So, yes. <laughs> so and we are blessed for the times when it works and this was amazing the and especially the i, I mean working on the glitches and uh, working around them is something which is which has been fabulous so there has been a lot of good feedback um i did see um so omitda join in and uh, dipanita would be there as well we have got uh, someone from the in the studio as well so i have added them padma yes yes yeah. so if you want to turn on or you want to speak you know how you felt and that's yeah. absolutely fine hi, as well hi yeah. this is prabir uh, padmanabh's dad yeah it's so uh, both of us were okay. enjoying uh, this session uh, extremely and uh, i was thinking about how to use this art to tell a story maybe for a profession as well janta so something you know uh, i would like to touch this with you so uh, this actually, is actually while people try. tell their yes. story through this art form yeah, because yeah. they don't have a written script they yeah. use this art form to tell their stories yeah exactly so you know the heart uh, the musician you can find uh, entire ramayan uh, painted in wali 
yeah it's uh, excellent so i was thinking about using it uh, for our profession as well <laughs> so i have seen this in uh, in some of the companies using this type of things not exactly world yard but similar kind of uh, drawing uh, for uh, presentation so this is this could be something really really interesting to investigate and find a little bit on that so and it uh, helps uh, the painting is Sora yeah. from Orissa which is very okay. similar to Wildy but it both are distinctively different so Sora so, is okay. i think used uh, more widely than Wildy what uh, oh. the, the things we find on garments most of them are Sora painting not Wildy you said Saura. S A U R A from Orissa. Okay. Uh, is there something it's also from? It's a tribal form of folk art. Yeah. Is there something from? And it's Bengal very also? ancient. No, Bengal doesn't have this art form. Not this type of art form. Okay. No, no, not not this type. So we can uh, CS Pro V. We can do a customer presentations using this art form. Well, yes, well. I'm sure yeah, yeah, we can. Exactly. We yeah. will make a big impact there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. On, them, it's it's on the customer's mental health as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's actually, and, and uh, you know, so uh, it is quite engrossing, and you have to really concentrate on the finer details. So, telling a story and uh, the way the man was sitting, or uh, the person, you know, who was on the ground, you know, watching uh, his daughter on the swing, is, you know, with simple geometrical shapes, you can uh, do it really well. Of course, uh, you are master on this, but I think no, you know, I, can, I myself would like to try it. Uh, really of course, you should. Yeah. I find Good. it very Thank relaxing. That's yeah. why Thanks I do it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank so you. We would, Thank you so much. So, Proveer, we would love to love you to be part of my research group if you can. Oh, absolutely. And uh, and your feedback as well on the session. So there are these yeah. questions. So I've sent you as well on on WhatsApp. Sure, um, I will do that. Yeah, do it. Thanks for that, Provi. Yeah, thanks a lot, ma'am. Thanks, Jantha. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you for the feedback. Bye. And uh, so I, I know uh, Dipanita joined from Hong Kong. Uh, she's from the UK and currently in Hong Kong, and uh, it's evening time there, and uh, she's joined in from there. But I think that's on YouTube. So next time around, uh, Dipanita, if you could come on uh, the Streamyard as uh, uh, yeah the Streamyard as well, and then we can uh, have a conversation around that. Amitda also, I see that you've joined, and that's fabulous. So we'd like to have your feedback. So apart from that, I do see somebody who wrote about um, the the Wally art that they have done. So if you could share that with us, uh, Ovishek. Uh, Ovishek Ghosh, so if you could share that with us, we'll feature that in the next kind of session. And also if you could fill up what your experience had been with Wally Art and how uh, how the journey has been for you, what, what kind of outcomes have you felt in terms of uh, relaxation in your mind and so on, that would really be useful. Thank you. So... Um, that I think is is all. Uh, anything else, uh, Indrani? Would you like to add anything on to this? No, I think that um, I think it has been a wonderful session, and I think that um, you know I've seen consistently six people have been staying all along. Of course, there were some maybe dropouts in between because of the connectivity. But what I've said here is that um, you know the six people who have been uh, following, like doing the session today with us, please, please do get in touch with Jantada, and um, this is his email. Um, I have shared that before as well. So this is the email. Uh, and if you can get in touch with him, uh, of course, this is part of his PhD research, and this is going to be very much beneficial if we can have a framework that we can actually come out with at the very end of his research. And um, I would say that um, there is an MS form as well, a link that I have shared. Uh, if you can uh, possibly, um, you know, six of you who have consistently been on this session, you can fill that out again that will be quite beneficial. And please do let Jantara uh, know about, um, you know, what would you like to see in the future? What we were thinking is that we can, again, Anjali does a lot of things. So one of that is also the daughter's painting. 
And today only we were having that conversation saying that can we actually also have a session with you on the dot. So we will come back with the session, of course, with all the information once we have organized something. Yes. So I believe that these sessions are going good, but this is just a starting point. And Jantada will be taking this um, with you all again. And if you are interested in um, knowing some more um, or different kinds of art, art forms, please do let us know. And we can actually, um, you know, organize some sessions around those. So that's all I need to add. But it has yeah. been wonderful session, Anjanadi. Like yeah. last year, we had to be enjoyed. And people are taking more interest in worldly art. And I think that geometric shapes and you know, and how you explain it. And being a mathematician, I think you know, it kind of comes very um, easily, and it it flows very. I don't know about well. that. I don't know, but. I personally enjoy doing this art form, this much I can say, yes. Exactly. And telling story like Prabir was saying, of course, each each uh, painting does tell a story. That's, so what we can do is probably uh, we can have a session on that, uh, apart from the research work I'm saying that a couple of things I wanted to mention to the people who are participating. So if you go back through these videos, they are available on YouTube. So if you go back to these videos and if you want to try your hand on this, do try that out. And I'm sure we can feature it on Sangeet Foundation. We can feature it on, uh, you know, uh, on the website and so on. So we can try that. So if you want to give it a go, slowly play through the views, um, obviously fill up the form um, as well. But uh, but give it, give it a try. I think you should be able to uh, gain uh, a lot out of it by practicing and the outcome of how it impacts you while you are practicing is important and uh, and obviously i'm sure uh, if i you know take the liberty of saying that oh i, I can request anjana to uh, to basically help with the storytelling process as well to say if you have an outline of the story and say how do we go about doing it so i'm sure if we have a story uh, she can jot down points and you can actually, we can have another session on this where you can of try course. your hand to say, given the outline, given the, the, the approach, given the approach, how uh, Anjana does it. So she can guide you and so that you can come up with your own uh, art art on this to say, how do you tell the story using Wali art in your own ways, own creative ways. Is, yeah, that's it, really it, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Am I pushing you too hard there? Putting you in a corner on your own? No, no, no. Not at all. I'm enjoying this. Fantastic. I'm absolutely enjoying this. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so Wonderful. much. Thanks. So I think that brings us towards the end. And uh, thank you very much again to all of you who have joined today and for your patience and, you know, working with us throughout. So thank you very much again. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay then. Bye for now. Thank you.